was. I can't say enough good. It was a magical night. Guys, follow well, listen, your dreams. You, That's all I can say. Follow your dreams. Follow, follow your, your dreams. dreams. And you uh, stay on uh, in contact with Sutton there so we can have another invite to yes. the next thing because I feel like that's very likely to happen. Um, it's a fun night fun. out in West Hollywood, babe. Um, where else do you want to go with this day? There's a lot. There's a lot. Wait, what do you make of, <clears throat> since you are the Jersey expert, my dear, what do you make of this Rachel Fuda posting a picture and saying she's unemployed? She was kind of out with her kids and she just was like acting, and you know, she said, unbothered, I'm unemployed. unbothered, having a ball with my kids, unemployed. Do you think that's just like temporarily unemployed or she's? Well, no, no I think, listen, I think if anyone's coming back and there's going to be a list, I think Rachel Fuda is going to be on the list. I've done my big reveal show with the four people I think is coming back. I got a surprise coming up for Jersey soon. Oh. I think Rachel Fuda is coming back, but I think when the show is on pause and we're not sure if the show is coming back and if it is coming back, it ain't coming back for a year, nine yeah. months. So that's pretty unemployed to me. Like, let me put it this way. I wouldn't turn down another opportunity, Rachel, dear. But I think she has a good chance of coming back. I just think it's so, uh, the longer this stuff goes, the longer it's like, do we care? I think it's well, weird when there's a really long pause. I was just on a podcast with some guys from Staten Island called You Know I'm Right. And they've met the Gorgas many times. Now, look, you're the insider. but Lucky they, them. Lucky them. What lucky they, people they are. They've become sort of friendly, they say, with the Gorgas. Now, they I'm claim, sure they have. Mm -hmm. They claim that, that I, I don't know that they really said it like it's happening or being thrown out there, but they could kind of see... Melissa and Joe getting a home makeover show and a spinoff like the Manzos did around their, whatever that place is that they own, Brown. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That Joe and Melissa get a spinoff around their businesses. Some of the cast members that are friends with them stay on the show. And then Teresa and Louie come back with some of Teresa's allies and a whole new group. Could you see that scenario? It's not a scenario that I can't see. It's not a scenario that I can't see. I've talked about this scenario before. I have. Uh, look, I think that the network likes Melissa and Joe. I mean, if you really strip it away now, you talk about you getting hate. I'm going to get all sorts of hate now. But, uh, you know, by the way, a lot of people, not just to sell my life course coaching on the weekends or the pocket, lots of people lately have been slipping into the DMs that are like, two people said, I finally listened to you and I took your advice and I just, I don't know how it happened. I don't care what anyone says anymore. And I swear one woman said, I changed my life and I'm 46 and you can lead a horse. To, it's like, I'm sorry, now I'm going to get tons of hate. It's like being in recovery when you have an addiction problem. Okay. Your friends could drag you. You could have the intervention. Your mom could bring you there. I could even drive the car for you. If you're not in it and you don't want it, you ain't recovering. You're going to do what you got to do. And when you get out, you're going to stick that needle in your arm. You're going to put that drink to your lips. You got to put that white stuff where it don't belong. Ooh. And that is that. So it's the same thing. You can say you don't care what anyone thinks until you're able to turn your dial, your mind to that dial. It doesn't work. But my point is, Hi. my point is, uh, really, I've been really insufferable lately. Um, this is what's going to bring me hate. Melissa is 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 she does the job she does the job i don't buy that she has no storyline there's a lot of people on bravo with no storyline she does the job she shows up she does work i think she got a great edit last season we saw this light side of her yeah i don't think the network i mean look we have a show with Luann and uh, um, Ashley. And I mean, they love bringing people back and reusing people that are in good standing. They love it. That's the new MO on Bravo. So I think that I could see them getting a spinoff. Sure. 
Okay. Sure. Fascinating. Not very- guaranteed or likely, but it, very possible. Like it's not the craziest idea I've heard. Yeah. Okay. And then what I, forgive me. It's been a long day. It's okay, darling. What? Okay. So you think, um, you think Fuda, you think Fuda is likely to come back that maybe this is just a being silly. I don't know. Just kind of throwing it out. There. I think she's coming back. And I've even said before, not only is she coming back, her and Teresa, two peas in a pod. Those two will be friends. They're listen. If you get rid of Melissa and you get rid of, I mean, the other one that she can't stand is that Margaret. You get rid of those two and you put Teresa with Rachel and say, too bad, fucking make it work. I guarantee you Rachel Fuda and uh, Teresa end up friends if there's another season and they're both on it. I think they are so similar. I think Teresa secretly hates her, kind of respects her, standing up to her. The OG, the queen, as the the huggers like to say. By the way, all the huggers lately have been in the front row. Do you see them there? You see those shirts with Teresa's face on it? We got the huggers in the front row, girl. Ever since I did that show and I said I thought Teresa was coming back, the huggers are. They're in the front row of our show, girl. Um, I think Fuda will be back. I do. I do, I do, I do. If there's a show. Yeah. What else you got? Think of this new picture. Do we think this is Dorit's new man? Or do we think Javier Gomez photo is just a friend? I saw that. I mean, uh, I hope it is. Dorit, you look very good with this person. Is he a straight man? I guess we should start with that. Um, you know, these, uh, is he? I don't know. Is he? There's a reason I do well in the, in the WeHo scene and in the, uh, Beverly, <laughs> they all want the gay girl. They all want their gay, but, uh, Dorit, That's true. I, I didn't get hit on at all at Sutton's. Let me tell you. Well, was there any straight gentleman there for you? Um, <laughs> doesn't matter. You know, what was I going to say? Um, wh- That guy is cute. That would be great if that was a uh, Dorit's person. Yeah. I don't know. What do we do? Think? Do I think so? Do we no. think that a new man? What? Okay. Have you heard any inside tea? Like we really didn't get any tea at Sutton's, like any indication. I didn't hear anything that night of whether they're still together. If like nobody really said anything about them. So I don't know. Where do you think we're at? I mean, PK sober now. I mean, going on a year. Guy wow. looks like he's having a ball on his Instagram. He's said putting up positivity memes. What's your take? Um, what is my take? Uh oh God, wouldn't life be hard to like? Like, how is that? I mean, gosh, Dorit's not giving up the sauce. She ain't giving up the carcass out bullshit. But um, I don't know. I don't think that's her man. I don't think that's her man. No, I, I don't think. Either. I don't think Dory and PK, I'm not throwing in the towel on these two yet. Really? And not yet, but I wouldn't be shocked if they left each other, but I'm not throwing in the towel just yet. All right. Let's move on to a little Potomac. We haven't touched let's on Potomac it. in ages. What do you make of Candy Gal and Chris Bassett are having a little boy? How exciting. Congratulations. And you saw Miss uh, Candy Gal's tweet, didn't you? Or post? I did. Candy Gal kind of gave a uh, warning, if you will, to fans. Don't tag me in the bullshit. 